worship a tree. If you don't worship God, you're going to worship that man. If you don't worship God, you're going to worship that woman. If you don't worship God, you're going to worship the money. If you don't worship God, you're going to worship the career. If you don't worship God, because inside of you, you were made to worship. You were made to worship. And, and, and my God, and, and guess what? It's either you're going to worship God or you're going to worship a God of your own hands. Amen. It's either you're going to worship God of your own desire, but guess what? You will worship. Yes. 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 You may not like the God that you worship, but God made you to worship Him. God made you yeah. to give Him glory. God made you for Himself. He didn't make you for anybody else. He shares you with other people, but you created it for God and God alone. Right. Oh God, have mercy. You belong to Him. Brian, you belong to God. He made you Amen. to worship him. But he shares you with your wife. Amen. Don't belong to your wife. You belong to God. He shares you with her. Amen. And vice versa. Because if you don't worship, you're going to worship something else. Somebody else. And look at what happened here. They begin to worship animals, cows, and all kind of creatures, all kind of things. Because somewhere inside of you, there's a need to worship God. And if you look at people, they're worshiping something. You just have to identify what they're worshiping. Where's their gods? Is it their houses? Is it their car? Is it what they possess? Some people worship their own bodies. Narcissists is a form of body worship. You're going to worship something. I made up my mind. I worship God. Yes. And if you don't, can I tell you something? If you're not careful, you're going to worship cocaine. Mm -hmm. You're going to worship at some altar. You're going to worship strippers. Okay. You're going to worship weed. They made a religion out of it. I don't want to start no trouble. I don't want no letters. I'm not starting no trouble. You're going to worship. That's, that is called, anytime you put something inside of you to alter your thinking or your mind, it's called worship. Because when you worship, it brings you from the natural to the spiritual. And you try to do it without God. Sex is a form of worship. <laughs> All right. Shut up, my pastor. Shut up. But no, no, no. It is a form of worship. You're going to worship God one way or the other. Now, look at this. Wherefore, now God says, also gave them up to uncleanness, to the lust of their own heart. Now, God now give you up to your own things. Meaning that uncleanness to your reasonings, Right? Mm -hmm. To your substitute, foolishness, and concept of God and fool themselves. God said, that's what you think of me? Go on and keep thinking what you're thinking. I'm giving you away to your own self. I'm moving back. You do what you want to do. God will move back from you. God will step back from you. If you keep moving at you and you keep going, you keep going. He said, you know what? I'm going to let you. I'm going to let you see how your mind going to work without me. I'm going to let you yeah, that's why when God stepped back, you see people in the street. My wife showed me some guy, you know, he had some, what you call it, some um, a thumb on. And I went to heaven and he's shaking it up. <laughs> Something happened to somebody's mouth. Something got that, come on. I don't see no grown man going to be in Atlantic Avenue with a pump. Something's going to happen yes. to your mind. Yes, Lord. Yes. This woman chopped up her three-month-old baby's head. Something happened to your mind to get you. See, they got to be an absence of God. That's why I'm telling this church, you got to be careful how you ignoring God. God may just move from you, and we don't know what's going to happen to you when he moved from you. Don't keep going in the direction you're going and say it's okay and no judgment and it's all right to live the way I live. It's all right to do. Now that's reprobate mind. You go from sin to sin to, yeah. oh, to stop.
to stop the things you say you would never do, you begin to do. You become an adulterer, but you don't stop. Now, after you don't stop, flesh becomes flesh, and you become a homosexual. Okay. Okay. Okay, because now flesh is flesh. Mm -hmm. It don't matter. It's flesh. Just like food is food. It goes from one reprobate mind to another reprobate mind. When you when you say I'm gonna sleep with another one, after and, and I know it, I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it happen. Sleep all over the place with, with, with women. After a while you start looking at men funny. Yeah. <laughs> now, am I saying to you God is against you? Sleeping, you know, legally. No, I'm not saying that. Legally, you have a wife. God bless you. Do what you want. It's your thing. I'm talking about when you illegally performing acts and doing stuff that you're not supposed to be doing illegally, and you you become crazy and you begin to look at people as not just sex no more or or genders. You're looking at them as just being flesh, and you like it. That's why in the time of of um. Abraham, there was a whole town called Sodom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it was. Oh, it's quiet. Mm -hmm. I don't know that. It's right. Amen. Right. Right. It's all Bible. Now, yeah. now let's put it this way. Wherefore, God also gave them up, and it goes for women too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stop sleeping around, doing all these things you're doing. After a while, women start looking good. And I know something, no, not me. No, keep going. Mm -hmm. If you keep going in that mindset and you keep going in that rebellious mindset, ways of thinking, a woman will begin to look good to you. Mm -hmm. Same thing for a man is the same thing for a woman. Because guess what? After a while, you're going against God and his word. And there's a, there's a, there's, there's a recompense of rebellion against a holy God. Next thing we see you switching down the street. <laughs> but you used to be a manly man. Talk about when I hear me. It's all right. I ain't afraid. Because your mind becomes reprobate. You begin to think reasoning. God give you up to your reasoning and to your way of thinking. If you want it, I'm trying to tell you don't. Because now it, it becomes so small if you're not careful. You creep into it one day. There's a thought that's going to come and say, why don't you do this? Mm. And one day you might give up the thought in your head and nobody knew that you gave in in your head. Mm. And when you have a chance to act on it, that's when you're going to act on it. Same thing that goes for adultery and anything else. It's a thought. Mm. I want her. You want her in your head. You make love to her in your head. And then when you make love to her in your head, you go into that reprobate mind and you become crazy and you do that act. But it comes in your mind. Then when you do it with her, you get more woman. Because you're never satisfied. Instead of you having that one person that you can live in holiness with, that one person that you can love. That one person that you can give all your thing to. That's why young ladies, when you're married, you'll give all your things to your boyfriend. But when you come to your husband, you don't want to give him jack. Mm -hmm. You did everything. But when you come to your husband, I'm not, you know. You church lady now. <laughs> You don't want to do nothing. I don't do that. You better do it. Well, and the brother don't laugh. You got so much mileage. Uh huh. Uh huh. Rubber got no friction. Wow. What you gonna wow. give them? Wow. Not playing. I'm not playing today. Not playing. Awesome. Popping two Viagra's just to do what you gotta do because you give it to everybody else. 
right. You give your body to everyone. You give to everybody, every girl that came around, you give up your body. What you gonna give her? Uh-huh. What you gonna give her? Wow. What you gonna give her? A raw out thing? Wow. <laughs> wow. What you gonna give her? You give your body to every man. You got to, I'm tired. I don't want to do this now. We don't want to do We don't want to try. It. And then you find the brother going to cheat. Now you're going to cry. Because you don't want to do what you need to do. Because you give it to everybody else. Give every piece of yourself to people who didn't deserve you. And you don't understand your body was holy. It is a temple of the living God. And you only give it to who's worthy to come and covenant with you. Right. So who's ready to sign that piece of hand and covenant and say, I choose her as my wife. I choose him as my husband. If you mad, good. I'm here to create a crisis in your life. Amen. God gave them up to their own mind, to their own way of thinking. Now look at it. Who changed the truth of God into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forevermore. You started worshiping things you're not supposed to worshiping instead of God. You started putting more attention to things that's not, they're not even supposed to pay more attention instead of God. The creature more. The things that's created. Now look at it. For this goes, God gave up them unto vile affections for the woman did change. The natural use into the wish against nature. The woman began to go in homosexuality because they would worship God. There's something in your head that you would worship Him. There's something that was inside of them that they, they, they were rebellious in their thinking. They didn't want to do what God called them to do. And they would go, go against your nature. They begin to desire a woman. And likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burn. You see, they burn in their lust. One to one another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of the error, which was me. Something happened when the worship of God is denied, when the rebellion of God, men and men, women and women, begin to lust over another man. And the thing is, point blank, it's not natural to desire another man. That's what the Bible says. I say what the Bible says. That's right. It's not, it's not natural for a woman to desire another woman. That's, right. That's what the Bible says. And I agree with the Bible. It's not hatefulness. It is the Bible. If I'm going to preach it, either I agree with it or don't agree with it. And even as they did not like to retain God, you see that? They didn't like to retain God in their knowledge. God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. And the word is adokimos in the Greek. He gave you up unto a reprobate mind. Let's look at this. 2 Corinthians 13.5 2 Corinthians 13.5 I want you to look at it. Somebody read it for me, please. Second Corinthians 13, 5. Read on. Examine yourself, whether ye be in faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves, how that Jesus Christ is in you, except ye be reprobates. You see that, right? Is Jesus not in you unless you be reprobate? There's a way that you live and you can no longer live that way that long. If God is in you, yeah. there's choices to be made. You can't do those things you want to do and feel it's okay. You gotta make choices. <clears throat> There's people you gotta live. There's people you gotta walk away from. And guess what? If you can if you, if if they doing their sin, if you doing their sins with them, and you can't walk away with it or get it right or work it out and say, let's do it God's way, and they won't do it God's way, are, are they gonna become your idol over who God is in your life? Okay, maybe I should talk about the favor. Everybody jump around. You know? Because I'm, I'm preaching so you can be blessed today. I'm preaching so you can be blessed today. I'm preaching so you can be blessed. Because now, when it comes down to it, um, 
He give them over to a reprobate mind. Now, three things God give them up to. There's three things that God give them up to to dishonor the bodies. He gives you, you want to do it? I give you up to them. Dishonor your bodies. Vile affection in their soul. Reprobate minds. Read Shantae, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 8. 2 Timothy. Yes. Now as James and Jambres withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds reprobate concerning the faith. Yeah. They resist God's word. God, what I'm preaching, some people would say would be hate. Intolerance, unforgiveness. No, it's not. It's love. Yes. Yes. What's being preached is love. Yes. But guess what? When you're doing it, you don't want to hear it because you resist. That's right. But you know it's true. Yeah. Matter of fact, if it wasn't the truth, it would hurt you. Right. That's right. If you hurt right now, there's a truth that God wants to show you about you that you need to change right now. If you feel that heaviness, that resistance in you right now as I'm speaking that kind of make you a little angry, something is in you that you need to repent of because that's why you're angry because something inside of you is resisting it. See, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear what he got to say. I don't want to hear it. Could it be God calling you saying you've got to give it up because I want to take you to a better life than what you are now? Could it be that God wants to take you to a greater place, to a greater um, place that you've never been before? Um, now, 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 now look at this. And even as they did like to retain God, he gave them up to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not um, convenient. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy. So we see now that if you in the church and you got envy, right? You got jealousy. You got um, um, unforgiveness. You got competition. You, you, you can't even say hello to people. You can't even talk to nobody. Could it be that you're in a place of reprobate? Because there is no excuses not to love. There is no excuses not to care. That's right. There is no excuses for you to say, I know Jesus, but you're bitter. I'm angry. I'm angry with this person in the church. I don't like them. I don't do this. Could it be that you are in a starting point of reprobate mind and reprobate thinking? Well, I know this is heavy preaching. I know this is not easy. I know this is hard. But my thing is, I don't want to preach no message that you jumping over. We, we already know we're blessed in here. We already know we got favor. Yeah. But guess what? When God wants growth, he makes you uncomfortable. Right now, God said, I've come to make you uncomfortable. So you can grow. So you can become better. Because you can look about it that you are on the brink of reprobate mind and reprobate thinking. Because guess what? If we are supposed to be the kingdom of God, we are supposed to be an example of his love. And I'm talking to Zion and not anybody else. If we cannot show the love in here, how are we going to show it to the world? And if you're looking at excuses why you can't love and why you can't do this, they said this, no, no. Could it be that you are in the brink of reprobate mind and reprobate thinking and you're close to it and, 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 and you can't see the truth. Your mind is darkened. You can't see the truth of love and hugging your brothers, hugging your sister and say, I have nothing but love for you. I got nothing but goodness for you. The love of God is in my heart. The love of God. I got no envy. I got no jealousy. Pastor, I don't even want a tiger. I just want to bless God. And guess what? That's when God might begin to raise you up. That's when God begin to bless you. Matter of fact, if somebody want to go before you, tell them, go on. Go before me. God bless you. Because guess what? I know that God will bless me as long as I continue in His way. As long as I'm going God's way, as long as I'm moving God's way, the blessing of God will be in my life. The goodness of God will be in my life. Yes. Amen. 
For we talk in truth today. Look at this. Number three, 30 says what? We become this uh, It said that we are full of every murder, debate. You know, you know, debate people just want to fight about every little thing. Yeah. Debate, are you in a debate team? You always trying to say, no, no, it's not that. No, just chill out. Just call it what it is and stop trying to go around the thing with it. It, it is what it is, you know? And, 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 and guess what? Um, malignity, whisperers, you know, you always. Whisper, stop it, stop it. That ain't God. That's part of a crazy, uh, darkened mind. Like backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud. Proud is another word of pride, right? It talks about you prideful, you proud. And the word is you pull rafanos to indulge in pride or self gratification. Um, Congratulations, be exalted, elated. Do you know when you want to be seen as part of a pride? Yes. yes. So you don't think that, but it is. When you want to look at me, I'm saying to the, you know, but, and, you know, but, but you're saying that. It's like, I want to be seen, you know, I, and I've seen it in the church where, you know, a while back, long time ago, you give people some spotlight, they start going on and on, and it's my turn, they start going on. No, man, just humble yourself. Just humble yourself. Let, let, let just God go in you. You don't got to be showy. You don't got to be nothing. Just let God be. Let God arise. Let his heaven. You got to be careful. Even if you give your thing to dance, don't come in, or oh, it's my time to shine. I'm going to. No, humble yourself. No, humble. Calm down. Calm down. Humble yourself. You're being prideful. You've got to just do it. You know that whatever we do, either we eat or drink or whatever we do, we do it what? For the glory of God. It's not about us. And I've come, and maybe this is a hard saying to y'all today, but it's really not about us. It's about Him. It's about Him. Everything we do. And you know what? God knows when it's about Amen. you and when it's about him. Because when it's about you, he'll shut you down. He show you resistance. You understand what I'm saying? You, you know, you be saying it all. You be preaching. No anointing. No power, no nothing. You know? And, and I found the secret. The secret to God is to live empty. No fool of yourself. I don't take myself too seriously. I don't look at myself to be anything else but what he made me. Because I remember where I come from. Yes. I remember even the, the words I speak and who I am. Matter of fact, I couldn't talk at all. So I know it's God. So my thing is, I remember who I come from and who I am. You can't try to, you know, butter me up. Oh, Pastor, you just make sure to put some of the in my mouth. You can't try to press me. Don't, come, don't express me with your food. Don't impress with your stupidity. I'm not no, You know what? The only thing I am is obedient. Amen. I, I, I thank God I'm obedient, but I don't have no anointing. The only anointing I have is which He gave me. Yes. Uh huh. I don't own it. I don't possess it. I don't have a certified stamp to it. I don't. I want Him to keep pouring on me. Amen. And how do I want Him to keep pouring? I stay in a place of humility and I stay in a place of humbleness. Lord God, I, Lord, I know I know it's all about you. I, matter of fact, I, I don't care if God make me bishop, apostle, whatever he makes me, but I'll be one thing. Two things to God, a son and a worshiper. Amen. Because that's why in the kingdom of God ain't going to be bishop, ain't going to be no bishop bro. There's going to be sons, there's going to be daughters bro. Yeah. They're gonna be worshippers. Yeah. They're gonna be well. We want all the bishops on this side, the apostles on this side, and this person on this. All the ministers go on this side. Can we put the first seat for them? Okay, bring them up. Bring them up. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and one person we gonna give glory to, uh, to the Lamb. Yeah. We gonna give glory to the Lamb. The only person who gonna shine. Is Jesus. The only person who's gonna get the glory is Jesus. The only person who's gonna get the praise is Jesus. Ah, oh, God in mercy. Ah, oh, oh. every praise, every praise is to our God. Do do do. do. See, that's what the worship we do. We come to come in and move in. See me again. <laughs> Everywhere I rush, I wanna go. Come on, begin to help. Every praise. Every praise is to our God. Come on, Father Mouth, help me out. Every praise is 
praise to our God. Every word of worship, a one of God. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Sing it. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship, a one of God. Every praise. Thank you. 